This is Holt Weir and this incredible feat of engineering is the fish pass that was created to allow fish like the salmon and the twait shad to work their way up the river to their natural spawning grounds. Out of the four fish passes that were constructed here on the River Severn, this one was the most challenging and this one was the final one to be completed. The main reason for that is purely because of the lack of access. As you can see, we've got incredibly steep valley sides along the river here, which meant that transporting equipment and machinery by land was virtually impossible. So that meant that everything had to be transported to this site by boat. That naturally meant that in order to do that, the condition of the river had to be right. So even when the river was carrying a little bit of extra water, if that meant that the boats couldn't operate and get the equipment and machinery here, then that delayed its construction. Even the 100 ton crane that was needed to construct this fish pass had to be transported here on a giant floating pontoon. And all the concrete had to be brought in here in skips on barges and as you can imagine as soon as that arrived at site it had to be poured immediately. The design of this particular fish pass is a vertical slot and that means that we've got eight chambers here that the fish need to pass through. As the fish pass through each chamber the water within each chamber is slowed down. That gives fish chance to rest and recuperate before they push round the edges through the slots around the outside through the faster current into the next chamber. They progress all the way through the eight chambers and then finally they exit the river right at the top end, the upstream end, which is where they are given access then to the river above the weir itself. The timing of the project wasn't ideal as it coincided with the 3rd of October 2020, which was the wettest day on record in the UK. And as you can expect, that really slowed down its construction. Now the design of this fish pass is very, very clever. You've got the chambers running down the middle, but by their very nature, they are actually slowing down the flow of the river. So down the sides of the actual pass itself, outside the chambers, there are grooves down either side which allow water to pass down there much quicker so that the water exiting at the bottom of the fish pass is much more natural it's a stronger flow and therefore because the positioning of this fish pass which is at the upstream end of the weir that is where all the flow is therefore fish coming up the river are drawn to where that main flow is therefore entering the fish pass where the flow is at its greatest The majority of the design of this particular fish pass is very similar to the Diglis fish pass. However, the outer walls have been constructed differently. These outer walls have been constructed from Lego style interlocking bricks. Whereas at the other fish passes, the outer walls have been constructed by sheet piling. There were two reasons for this. The first one was down to the poor access. It was just virtually impossible to get a piling rig into this site due to the steep slopes and beneath the fish pass itself there is very shallow bedrock which would have made driving piles incredibly difficult. Just like on the other weirs that we've seen here on the River Severn, the actual weirs don't cross the river at 90 degrees, they are at an angle and that naturally means that there is a downstream end and an upstream end to that weir. The positioning of a fish pass like this is incredibly important. You need the fish to be able to access the fish pass in the right location. Because this weir is at an angle, you have an upstream end. And this is where most of the flow is coming through. So this is where the fish pass has actually been located. It's at the upstream end, so fish come into the turbulent water, seeking to push further upstream, and that is where they access the mouth of the fish pass, where they start to enter through the eight chambers. This has been another interesting insight into how they are trying to open up 150 miles of river from these weirs which were constructed back in the 1800s where hopefully it's going to encourage migratory fish work their way upstream. I hope you've enjoyed this bit of an insight. If you have, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new here. 
and please let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me visit more sites like this giving you interesting insights into all things fishing.